right, guys, suspension reveal today. First, we're gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a brief overview, a little brief overlook of all that we've done so far. And at the end of the video, I'll give you a full suspension reveal and tell you a little bit about how our custom suspension really fixes the problem, uh, the Achilles heel, if you will, of the Land Cruiser. And, but right now, let's go ahead and get this thing, let's get this discussion going, what we've done so far. All right, from the back, rear winch bumper, front and rear bumper, all right? Front and rear winch bumpers, steel, so this one's hollow. It's gonna have, the, it's gonna function as the tank for the air compressor. The air compressor's right here, accessible from the right side. The winch is right here, rear winch accessible from the left side all right this is hollow like i said it'll function as the air tank we got the rear trailer hitch right here rear bumpers function as the air tank for the compressor so check it out one of the most important things and often overlooked things on an overland expedition vehicle is high lift jack points okay points for mounting the high lift jack all around your vehicle for when you're off road. If you really get your vehicle up, look at that height right there. You're gonna have to have a high lift. We run a bigger high lift on this vehicle. You can see it on the front up there. We'll get to that in a minute, but these are high lift jack points right here. All right, guys? Two on the back. We got them custom built into the rock sliders right here. When the full cage is on, we'll have the protective bars here and the high lift will actually sit in a section right there, which is something else that's important so it doesn't beat against the side of the truck and mess up your truck prematurely, all right? High lift jack points. Moving forward, jerry can holders, all right? The cage and roof rack, the bed drawers, all that stuff is off right now as we're working on the suspension. The suspension's right there. I'll get into that in a second, all right? We did a custom snorkel. As you can see right here, there's no seam. Custom gasket right here. Very important to change the snorkel because there's a seam right here on the factory snorkel. Also, this butts along with our roof rack and external roll cage. Got fenders here. I gotta give a shout out real quick to my tire and wheel sponsors, Method Race Wheel and Interco Tires. Method Race Wheel makes this MR101 beadlock. Really great beadlock, honestly. It, uh, it's really light, very light, but it works great. Fully functioning beadlock. This tire has the same aggressive pattern as the normal TSL, but it's a heavier duty compound. So basically, it will function longer on road because I drive about 50% on road and 50% off road. So what that's going to do is going to give me a longer tire life. I'll let you guys know how long it lasts. Stay tuned along with this build to find out how long these tires actually last. All right. Front bumper, stock Toyota winch, lights, and the high lift on the front bumper. Okay. As the front suspension, we went with Old Man Emu coils. Okay. Old Man Emu coils, 40 millimeter extended, and a body lift. 40 millimeter body lift. What that does is it allows us to run these big 35s, but not go any taller. A vehicle's already very tall. We don't lose any stability. So we went, the rims are a negative 12 millimeter offset. So when you go taller, you always gotta go wider, but we literally only went two inches of lift in the front and we're clearing 35s, all right? That gives us great on-road stability. The tire's a 12 and a half inch wide tire. So we went wider with the wheel, wider with the tire, and we only went a little bit taller with the truck. That's how you want to do it. That's what keeps you going and keeps you functional without just looks. All you these really skyjack trucks you see, they're not functional. They don't function off-road. You, you want to get as minimal lift possible. The only reason you're lifting your truck is for bigger tires. The only reason you're putting bigger tires is for ground clearance, all right? Inside, we added Dynamat. Just finished up the Dynamat. Built a center console, 100% custom. Two mid speakers, two high speakers, all right? This is the luxury version of the Land Cruiser. The highest luxury version of what all you get extra is power windows, air conditioning, and this little radio unit right here. This truck is just built 
to go off-road. Low end four-wheel drive, low gear range. Lockers front and rear, you can see. Lockers right there. And you get a little bit of wood trim on the steering wheel for $54,000. That's it, guys. This is it right here. Just ultimate off-road vehicle. The only vehicle that I know of that's a 2017 that has no computer, no sensors, doesn't even have ABS brakes. Again, I'll show you guys this custom center console. Switch units right there. We're going to be running at least 10 aftermarket lights, light bars and lights that are going to be using you know, for off-road driving. And then we're going to have a bunch more, about eight more lights that are going to be for when we're parked and camping out of the vehicle and things like that. So we got to have plenty of switches, obviously. Now let's get into the suspension. All right, the moment you guys have all been waiting for. The Bone Tactical, completely, fully custom, in-house built. 100% in-house Land Cruiser suspension. What does this do? It gives us an extra at least two inches of ground clearance. As you can see right here, the main Achilles heel is this low point of the leaf springs right there where it goes under the axle. Normally, there's a big lip there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shave this down even more. We're gonna bevel it and we're gonna fix it all up. But what we've done is we've flipped the U-bolts built all this hardware, added in free flow airbags. We built two leaf springs extra, added these in for all the extra weight, built our own shackles, super heavy duty shackles, two inches longer and anti-inversion right here. This will keep them from flipping that extra third pin. Okay. So what we got here is the bottom plate, like I said, allows us to have a smooth bottom. It gives us the same ground clearance as if we were running 37s or maybe even 40s, all right? Even though we're only running 35, so we get all the benefits of the smaller tire and the benefits of more ground clearance. We got the U-bolts coming up to the top, then an airbag here, all right? The compressors right here, all inboard, onboard air system. Free floating allows us to, like you can see, this is fully flexed right here, allows us to have all this flex and float the airbag out of the cup. Once the airbag floats out of the cup, it, it, it completely takes the airbag out of the equation and allows the truck to function in a hardcore off-road situation. But when you're load carrying, you can, it'll float back down and it'll sit on the airbag. As it floats back down, it'll sit back down on the airbag and allow you to cover carry extreme heavy loads like we're going to be able to do with this truck once we get all the extra metal on there there's drawers right here like you guys have seen in the other videos holding tons of gear already we've got a lot of stuff water and fuel that's going to be extra on here okay so basically that's the components of the suspension system right there you can see what this does is it really fixes the achilles heel of the land cruiser really gives it that extra little bit of ground clearance in the rear that's a major issue and now i'll go ahead and tell you guys this is just basically this is finally in the in the just fabbed phase we're going to pull it all off clean it up put the finishing touches bevel everything make everything look pretty but right now we've just finally got it all figured out again longer shackles to give more flex all right we raised the shocks off of sticking out from underneath the truck where they used to be sticking out from underneath the truck we got a flat metal one inch steel plate right there so it's not only protection for the truck but it's not going to allow anything to catch like on the normal truck your shocks would catch you could rip a shock mount anything like that right there all right we added two leaf springs because of the extra weight we built and added these two leaf springs right here because of the extra weight of this truck's going to hold and then for even extreme circumstances we've got the airbags right there all right the U-bolt flip, the airbags, Daystar cups on top. We've custom fabricated the mounts for those. Not completely done, but everything's in place of where it's going to be and how it's going to function. All right. We've got the subframe here, added subframe. Boxes are going to go on top of that. We've got a full roof rack system that goes on there. Eventually, all that stuff is right here. All right. Working on that, finishing up. Two spare tires, two full-size spares right and left that sit right here. And then, again, Bone Tactical, Land Cruiser, Overland Expedition vehicle build. 
this is what we're looking at guys this is where we're at bone out let me know if you guys have questions comments let me know what you think what you want to see in the future